Carnarvon is a great town about 900 kilometres north of Perth. This was my second visit in as many years to find the mighty Mulloway of the One Mile Jetty and it always pays to have a bit of local knowledge. Glen Walling is a good friend and has been fishing these waters for years, so who better to take you on a day's fishing than a local bloke who's just as nuts about fishing as Marshy and myself. Well mate, this is the famous one mile jetty in Carnarvon, what do you reckon? I'd say it was about a mile. It is about a mile, yeah, that's right. And I wouldn't like to walk down it either. No, no, they've got a little mini moke that comes out and takes people up to the oh, end. Oh right, lazy okay. To walk like you. Yeah. This is one of Australia's best Mulloway fishing grounds. And it's so strange because we're surrounded by coastline, which is really all structure, all reef, a lot of pelagics, and right here in the middle, it's almost the ocean equivalent of a desert because it's flat sand. But the Mulloway love it. You do need a bit of a feature though, so that's why I've brought you to the, the Carnarvon One Mile Here Jetty. It congregates Mulloway, and okay. uh, I'm going to try and get you into a big Mulloway, or as they call them up here, a kingy. Have they got any teeth? Uh, no, they don't have any teeth, but there's plenty of things out there that do have teeth, so... Uh, no doubt I'll see some of them. Yeah, you probably will, but I know you love them, so... Oh, it's fantastic. Let's get into it, mate. Okay. Jesus. The size of the teeth on this. Just bring it over here. Got some teeth on him. Certainly has. Keep the teeth away from my digits, I think. Yeah, wow, look at the colour. Sensational. Wow, look at that, eh? Mirror tail. Beautiful. Things, mate. They actually can grow to about six feet long, I believe, and uh, they don't want a bit of nose. <laughs> don't <like it>. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll put him back now, eh? Yeah, do it. Who's your friend? Who's your daddy, mate? I think he'll probably go back okay. He's feeling pretty strong, and off he goes. That toothy fish was actually a hair tail, but we were after Mulloway, and Dusk brought about the first big hit. The Mulloway here that I've got on. The one thing you'll notice about them is they head shake badly and they run around the boat in circles. And it's going straight underneath the boat. So what I'm going to do is run around the front. Go on, bust me. No, we're still on, we're still on. Oh, gee, these are tough fish. This is a good fish. He's starting to get a bit tired, but there's probably a few more kicks left. what we're after. It certainly is. And it doesn't disappoint. This is only the second time I've been here and Glenn being the master of Mulloway has always shown us a good time. You got a decent leader on there too. Sorry what's that? You got a decent leader on Oh yeah. 15 kilo leader. 15 kilo 15 kilo leader is fine. Now he's running at me here. This is a bit of a stalemate battle. Not got the drag set too tight either. And I just got a bit of a flash of him then, so we all almost get a, get a good look at him, I think. Do you want to lip gaff him, Steve? So we yeah, we only him. want to lip gaff him, we don't want to hurt him. Here he is, here he is, here he is. What a rush when you see your Mulloway for the first time. Even the cameras can't do them justice as they glow blue and gold in the water. Because we were going to release this one, we only lip gaffed it and carefully lifted it on board. That's what we came here for, mate, and you've done beautifully. You've put us in the right spot. And would that you look would at that for a Mulloway? Huh? How big do you reckon that croaker is there, Glenn? Oh, I would give him 22, 24 pound, about what, 10 or 11 kilos. What a fantastic fish. Got him? Yeah. Now, don't just chuck him straight back. You know, make sure that we support the weight of the fish until it gets its bearings. There's no point in releasing fish if you're just going to chuck them over the side and hope for the best. Now, see the light starting to return there. Oh, there you go. They'll know when it's time to go. 
The first sport fishing experience I ever had was at the Mackerel Islands, which are located not far from the coast of Onslow in Australia's northwest. The fishing here is wild and unique, and I have vivid memories of a day I spent at one of the islands catching huge golden trevally. Today, we were going to try and do that again. Now, compared to trout fishing back in England, you don't do it with your hat on back to front like this. And this is great. Anybody could do this. Um, they're literally everywhere. Throw a nice bright coloured fly in. I mean, this is the first, this is the first time I've ever, ever done this. And your skills with trout, fly casting, presentation, you don't really have to do anything like that. Simple, simple fly, as long as it's all flashy and you're guaranteed a great time. Well, with so many fish schooling in this crystal clear water, we didn't have to wait long for Marshy to hook up on the first fish for the day, a queen fish. Another queenie behind it. There we go, Steve. Got him. Good shot. Sensational. Little, That's good fun on fly. Little crazy Charlie. Fantastic. Loved that one, didn't he? Let's put him back, eh? Okay. Come on, get one, mate. Come on. It's me and you. Gee whiz. And they went in then. This place is heaven. Here it comes. What is it? It's a golden. It's oh, a golden. it's a fish. You can't get ready. I haven't caught a fish this big. This is amazing. You ready? I've got him. Okay, here we come. <laughs> you got a leader, by the way? Yeah. Come on then, lift him up. No, nah, he's not done yet, mate. Yeah, he is. <laughs> no, he's not. He a bit more. Nah, nah. No, he's not done. He is. Okay. Nah, he doesn't like that green one. Whoa. Unlike here, he's amazing. Whew. him. Wow, that's amazing. Look at this! <laughs> oh, sensational! Look at that for a fish. I have never caught a fish like that in my life. Look at the size of that mouse, Steve. You could see all the way to England there. <laughs> That's like a big It's like the Channel Tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pop him back. Yeah, let's swim him. Come on, then. I don't think you need to swim him. I think he's pretty durable. Yeah. Oh, oh, I, I told you. Right. <laughs> There's no doubt that the big goldens were here, and someone had to catch one on the fly rod. As it happens, I drew the short straw and almost broke my favourite rod under the weight and power of this mighty fish. Whoa! Yeah, go. Think hurting it, Bruce. See if you can hurt it towards the shallow. Can't lift it off the bottom. Oh, he's got to come up now. With a six-way fly rod, I've got no lifting power. Oh, to see the colour, that's a very big trevally. He's just laying on his side trying to hurt me and he's doing a great job. There he is. He's coming up slowly here. He's coming up. Got him up, got him up. Net, net already. He's tiring. It's a big golden. Come on, come on, don't go back down. Just hold him now, Steve. Hey? Just hold him now. Yeah. Sit, hold him. Gently lift. Gently lift. That's as far as I'm going to get him. No, please. Woo! Thanks, mate. Wow. A personal best for me on the fly rod. And all it took was a little blue and white clouds of fly and a few strained muscles I hadn't felt for years. Oh, that is a serious golden trevally on fly. He feels like he's about five kilos, maybe six. What a magnificent fish. What a great place to be. 
He's got lips like Mick Jagger yeah. there, Steve. Brown sugar. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's put him back, eh? Come on. Come on. Well, he's ready to go. He's off. That was all I could take, but Ian thought he was up to one more tangle with a Trevor today. Oh my God. I've got the shakes now. The lactose is in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Please. Okay, let's go. He's, not, he's down there still. You haven't beat him yet. Come on. Come to the pond. That's the boy. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> Aren't they so strong? Oh yeah, and they know how to use it too. It's like this weight. Unbelievably strong. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, mate, they're amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Just as hard to land one. <laughs> now my arms touch the floor. <laughs> no more for you. That's me for the day. <laughs> got to be really careful now, nice and quiet, just take your time. Now I've seen a fish over there, but I'm not going to cast to it yet, I'm just going to check it out and see where it's heading, keep my rod away from the water and just have a quick look, just relax. And I think there's one over there as well, there's fish all around here now, so gently, gently get in, just a couple of steps and silent, because they'll actually hear you get in the water as well. Now just keep persevering with this floating line, it's, it's very visual so you can see what you're doing. Nice punchy cast, there she goes, and just a nice little tiny, tiny pull of the strip. Just keep watching what you're doing all the time. Now the floating line didn't quite work, but onto the sinking line now with the two flies on. Nice quick strips now on the bottom. Now we're into a fish, nice and high with a rod tip and it's just about to jump this fish and yep it's a brown well I've never seen brown's tail walk it's obviously had some lessons from a rainbow trout now just keep taking your time taking your time keep the rod nice and high beautiful brown sensational don't forget wet your hands now <laughs> he's not gonna like that because he doesn't like me come on I'm gonna let you go Beautiful. If you pick them upside down like this, they don't move. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, he took that on a second fly, which is great. He's a male fish, beautiful condition. He's golden. Okay, got to watch I don't drop him. That's all right, that's all right. I'm going to let you go, don't panic. He's got me line wrapped around his teeth. Because these browns, They've got some sensational teeth. Not that they bite you. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna show the folks at home what you look like. Then I'm gonna put you back, all right? Don't panic. Don't panic. I'm just gonna show the folks at home. How's that for a fish? He's a beauty. Sensational. Brown trout, Western Australia. Put him back. Now that last brownie, we caught him on what's called a dropper, which looks like that. I'm fishing with two flies now and in West Australia I could actually fish with three if I wanted to but two's good enough a nice little dropper like that not too long about eight inches because if it's more than that it'll tend to tangle around so what you're trying to do is basically narrow your chances down so that's my top fly that's what's called a point and you could have one in the middle but basically that's what's known as a dropper and I actually caught that fish on that dropper so I've caught two before and that's a different story altogether. One goes one way, one goes the other way and you don't know what to do then. And trying to land them is a bit difficult as well. 
but I'm going to get back in and let's see if he takes the dropper again. So, the rain's finally arrived, which is not a bad thing. It tends to bring the fish on a little bit and it absolutely flattens the water out. So I'm going to change this fly. Reason being because I want to put a nice dark fly on now. Because the fish are going to come up, have a look at the weather. They, they can hear that rain. So we're going to not put an overly big fly on, but don't go massive. Well, I never fish without really a size 10. Is about the biggest one I use. So we'll just nip him off there. Okay, put him back in. So it's really raining now. Now, so I might go for a little tiny, tiny Mrs. Simpson. Real tiny one there. And I think that might be the go. Love the rain. Rain's good. I think I might move in a second. I'm just going to try... See that branch that's hanging over the water there? Well, that's new to the structure of the dam, if you like. So, there might be fish underneath it. I very much doubt it at this stage, because it looks it's still green, it's not even dead. So it's not going to, hasn't been there for years, so the fish don't see it every day. So we're going to move, but we'll probably fish the other side of the branch where it drops away. And it's still raining, <laughs> but that's good. Okay. Okay, I've just dropped the fly just by that tree, and we're onto a good fish. Got to be very, 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 very careful now. I'm using three pound line. And I haven't seen it yet. No, it's off. Right, I'm going to try this yabby pattern now. It's starting to rain again. There's millions of these in here, and this is what the brown trout love. So hopefully we can get a big fish, putting this on, fish it very slow on the bottom, nice little tiny, tiny, tiny pools, and watch out, because they're gonna nail this. Now what we've got to do is we've cast in like that. I'm using a sinking line about a type three, about three inches per second, but the fly won't sink that far, so actually it'll come down like a belly. So what I've got to do is wait for the line to sink and then do a nice little tiny pull and wait for the fly to get down there. So use the countdown method. What I mean by that is we've cast in, we know it goes to three inches per second, so I usually count to about 15, which then I know I'm pretty near the bottom. That yabby pattern, all I did was just drop it in the water and, well, I told you it was explosive. I think it's a big brown. And he's going to take me around, walk around that snag. I think it's a big brown. Just got to take my time. All I simply did was just put it straight in the water and he just nailed it. So just take my time now. Oh, it's a superb fish. Superb fish. Okay, this is where all fish are lost. It's a male. I'm only using a three pound tippet. Let him go again. He's round a log. He's round a log. Get off the log. Okay. Now, there he is. What a beauty. What a beauty. Come on. Now when you're on browns, you're in for a long fight. 
Now, you just gently, gently, gently. Come on. I'm going to put you back, don't panic. Come on. Nice male. Nice male fish. He's got the hooked jaw a lot. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's it. That's it. No. He doesn't like that. 